today I thought I'd show you how I use my bent up fork to put my zipper pull ends onto my zipper tape. So I didn't really want to have a big one where you know you have to get the jig out, you have to attach it to your table um, and then have that hanging around. I've got a pretty small room and I didn't really want to take up more room with something that I don't use all the time. Um, and I also knew that if I did that I wouldn't go and find it and put it on the table. Um, loud motorbike going by. Um, so I thought well I want to use just a fork without any anything else added. Um, so what I thought I'd do, I bent these tines round, I used these these old pliers. Um, I couldn't do it today because my arthritis is really hurting today. Um, so I, I rolled these out of the way to make it easier to reach these two tines. Um, and these come in really useful because how I actually use it is I tuck it under the edge of my cutting mat. And so those curled round bits help it just hold onto there, which is really useful. Um, this is my old cutting mat. This isn't my fabric cutting mat. This is my um, jewellery, painting, crafting mat, and it's really warped. It's really wavy because the sun comes through the window and uh, it's basically destroyed this mat, so I just use it for other stuff. So basically what I do is I get my zipper pull and I put the wider end facing towards me so I just slide it onto the fork and then open up my zip and I try to make sure that I get it on there evenly because I, I don't like it if it's a bit staggered I like it to be even so I feed it in give it a little tug and once it's on there pull it off and yeah that's that's come out really even so that's good and then there we have it now the zipper pull is on and yeah that's come out nice and even so that's good okay so that's how I use my fork I don't have anything else attached to it I don't use it in any other way and I find that really useful because it's easy to store I just chuck it into one of my pots where I keep pens and pencils and things Hope that was helpful. Thank you very much.